Hello, uh, I have a uh, Nikon, uh, uh, it's a micro 55 3.5 lens. Um, uh, we're gonna clean the oil on the aperture blades, it's leaking in. Um, my aperture is still opening and closing, but it's you can tell it's starting to hang up and eventually it will go, but I can't just leave it like that anyways. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just start tearing into it. So I just bring the focus all the way up. Um, this lens, it's it's fairly, you don't need a lot of tools for it. It's a fairly easy lens, but it also has its annoying parts. So there's a screw on the side. Unscrew that. Um, we're gonna leave the elements and everything for now. I'm gonna show you a little. Actually, yeah, I'll just show you that later. So you don't have to undo this. Um, I think everything just slides out. Yeah, boom, there. Look at that. Your whole assembly is out. Um, you can use uh, this to take the nameplate off. Um, you can also use like bottles and things and put tape along here. You can watch my other videos to see how I do that and unscrew the nameplates. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those lenses you you take it apart and you're like, man, this is easy. But then it has its annoying parts. So you use a spanner, um, two notches there. The old non-AI lenses. They tend to glue everything, so we'll see how far we get before we hit the glue. Just set that aside, don't lick the elements, and you won't have to clean them. There's uh, three screws on the side here, and there's glue. There's some red glue. When you undo the screws, leave that red glue there, because that's a guide to line everything up. So make sure you don't chip all that glue off. Hold that down, uh, that ring that we're unscrewing here, because we're gonna take this out, and I think that this is, they glue this one in. Oh, mother, okay. Yeah, they've glued this. <laughs> now, we're gonna take that ring out, and everything goes blink, blink, blink. You'll hear everything pop and whatnot, and that is this. So you can just flip it back around. Um, and then you will see, do this, there's this, this presses up against the side of the barrel, and I'll show you how to slip it in because it's a pain in the butt to put that in properly again. But. So now we're getting close to the aperture. There's, all, there's oil all around inside there, so it's actually, I got oil all over inside there, but not as much on the aperture blades it looks like. but. It'll eventually make its way down there. So now that we took that screw out, we can. There's this lever. You can press it down, and you can wiggle it, and you should be able to. Oh no, sorry. There's one more ring in there. Um. Ah, come on. Here it comes. So, set that aside. I'll show you how to put that in. Um. Now we can press this down, be able to lift that ring up. And this is the actual aperture um, lever thing. And there's that comes out. Now all the aperture blades are sitting there ready to come out. They all point to the right. Um, so they are gonna be stacked. They're stacked, oh that's weird. Okay, but they're, yeah, they're, they're facing clockwise, and we're gonna stack them clockwise, apparently. And then slipping in the last one, I'll show you all that. So we're gonna bump them out. Um, make sure, here's something I wanna show you guys. Uh, just to be aware, I should've shown you this before, but this this element sticks out really far, so do not scratch that on the bottom of, like always be holding this, and don't scratch it on your table. Um, Okay, so I'll show you some tricks that I've kind of come up with. You can, I use, uh, what is this, 70% alcohol and a Q-tip, and you can clean all the blades. Or what I'm doing now is 
I'm just taking a bottle, I'm cheating, being lazy, and you can throw it in, this is all alcohol in there, just throw your blades right in, close her up, give her a shake and whatnot, and they should come out clean. I'm going to use this, we're just going to collect these back out of here, just some tongs. So we're going to dry these off. Alright, so I just dried these off, um, show you some stuff real quick here. I'm going to be stacking these clockwise, so what you want to do is, I'm going to show you because I can't show you down inside the barrel. Um, uh, so. They are going to be, it's just so long, that this is, the, this is the toughest part about this lens. And and that screw on the side, don't strip that one that we took off. Um, they're going to be stacked this way, on top of each other. Now, what you're going to want to do is, because you're kind of blindly dropping them in, and then you're going to take a screwdriver, and they have the little tabs. It's easier to use a magnetic screwdriver. Um, and you will just maneuver them into place and then put your finger on it and pull the screwdriver out. Um, and they're going to be stacked like this, going around in a circle on top of each other. Okay. And then, and then the, the last one, now this is the tricky part is, you have to be super patient and careful. And this is the hardest part. You guys can do this and you're set. But you're going to have to, you're going to be stacking this on the last one coming around the circle, right? Da, da, da. And then you're going to drop this on, but then you have to make sure that you're putting this tip not on this side of, the, uh, of this lug here. It's got to be on the inside. And then you got to rotate it down and then slip it under the first one. Um, and... Um, if you do drop it on top like this, nice thing is on the bottom side of this lens, you take a little screwdriver and you can hold it like this and you can poke, there's a little hole here, and you can poke it back up and, um, and then lay it back over like that um, without rotating or turning the lens and dumping them all and having to redo it all. So that's how it's going to be done. Now I'm going to swab this out. I'm going to swab everything because there's probably oil everywhere. And then I'm going to go wash my hands before I reassemble this. Okay, so we are ready to reassemble and I'm going to go wash my hands and come back right back.